Okay, let's talk about finding the mean. And if you're familiar with this word, it means uh, average, okay? So here is the problem that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing this, and we're gonna be doing another problem that involves some variables, so stick around. Even if you know how to find the average of all these numbers, we're gonna do a little uh, bit extra, and we're gonna uh, emphasize uh, what the mean is, and we're gonna be talking about some related terms um, called the mode and the median. And I've done separate videos on these guys here as well. So this is kind of part of a little mini series. So if you're watching this video, I would encourage you to watch the videos on the mode and median. So we're gonna get into all this and more. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the most robust online math help programs out there. Now. Um, I say that because obviously I know how to teach students is what I've been doing for many, many years, but um, I don't take any shortcuts. All my lessons are complete, super comprehensive. And one of the things that frustrates students the most is when you have like your homework proms or your practice proms and you just go and look at your answer key, you're just given some basic answer. You're not, you're not given like, how do you, how did, you know, how did, how was this problem solved to get to this answer? Well, in my program, I literally solve every single practice problem. Okay. And I have a massive amount of variety of problems, thousands of problems solved. So it's very unique and it's taken me years and years and years to build out all this content. So I've, um, you know, uh, it's been my goal is to produce the best program or construct the best program so people can literally, you know, help themselves learn math independently. Now, if you need to take a full math course, I offer uh, those as well. But if you're taking a math class, this is a great supplemental program. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, uh, you know, um, one of the things I sh really emphasize the most, because you've seen me probably, uh, if you watch some of my other videos, I mentioned uh, note taking, it's critical, okay? So every time I got an opportunity to speak to a math student, I say, hey, listen, how's your math notes, okay? Because if they're really, really good, chances are you're doing well in math. That's been the golden rule that I've seen through the years, okay? Those students that do uh, great in math have great math notes, and the reverse is true, okay? Those students that don't do well, don't have any notes, or they have disorganized or incomplete notes. So if your notes are not where they need to be, you need to work on that, okay? But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I offer notes, I'm gonna leave uh, in the link, uh, or I'm gonna leave the links to my math program and my notes in the description of this video. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry, okay? So just some resources and a little bit about me and my math program right up front. Now let's get into the mean. All right, so the mean kind of goes along with these other topics. So we have the mean, all right, which is basically just the, uh, the average, okay? So if you know how to find the average, then you know how to find the mean. But we study this along with some other concepts called the median and the mode, all right? So you can see each one of these things start with M, and it's easy to confuse, uh, I uh, get these confused. So let's say I had some data here, just making something up. So, so we got some data and I say, find the median. Well, oftentimes students, if they don't really know this as well as they do, they'll find the mean, okay? Or if I say, find the mean, then they go and find the median, all right? Or do the mode. So you don't wanna be in that position. And the only way to avoid making any mistakes is to really know this stuff. So the median, just look at this, this, uh, should remind you of the word middle, okay? So the median has something to do with the middle value. Again, I get heavy duty into that in my median um, video that you wanna check out, and the mode is something pretty easy as well. But all these concepts here are um, uh, basically measures of central tendency, okay? So we're trying to find some sort of tendency in, uh, in our data. We're trying to you know figure out, is there a trend? You know, so there's something in the middle or central, average, whatever. You know, this is what these words mean to us. So, you know, finding the average or the mean will give us some color on the data, what it might represent. But the median gives us another perspective at it. And same thing with the mode. And when we look at all three of these together, then we have a pretty good idea of what might be going on with our data. Okay, so again, you don't want to just study this in a vacuum. You want to be checking out this other material as well. 
All right, so let's get to that problem I had up here. And this is pretty easy stuff, hopefully, uh, for those of you out there who know how to find the average. And I already kind of did this uh, in advance, but all you do uh, to find the mean, okay, which is the average, is we take all of our um, data, okay, our entries in our data set, we're gonna add them up and we're gonna divide by the number of numbers we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, values here. So we're gonna add all these guys up and divide by eight. So I'll spare you all the uh, uh, boring arithmetic, but uh, arithmetic is actually pretty cool stuff. But anyways, all of this right here, when we add it up, trust me, you'll get 27. So we're going to take that 27, we're going to divide that by 8, and when we do, we get 3.375. Okay, so 3.375, so that is the mean or the average. Now, let's go up here and remember that number, 3.375. So if we're looking at this, 3.375, if this information was kind of like uh, in order, and you don't have to have the numbers in order to find the mean. But the 3.375 is a measure of, of central tendency. Look at that. You know, we got ones, zeros, a one, a two, and a three. So 3.375, there's a lot of these lower values, right? Then we got a four. And it's like a lot of like numbers that are like between three and four, two, one. And then we got some higher numbers over here. So 3.375 kind of gives us some indication about what's going on. Now, I wanna um, do another problem uh, with respect to, um, that you'll, you'll see this pretty frequently in your algebra class or basic uh, statistics or whatnot. So it, it gotta go something like this, okay? So here is some data. We have uh, three numbers, x, 2x, and x minus one, and the average of these three numbers is five. I want you to find the actual numbers. Okay, sounds kind of scary, right? Actually, it's not too bad. So what we're going to do is the same thing as the previous problem. We're going to take this number, we're going to add it to this guy and add it to this guy, and there's three values, one, two, three. So let's just go ahead and, and create an algebra equation. So it's going to be x plus 2x plus x minus 1, and we'll divide that by 3 because there's three entries here, okay? But we know when we do this, we're finding the average or the mean, and we're told that it's going to be equal to 5. All right, so this is basically it. If you can solve this equation, you're going to get your answer. So how would I solve this equation? The easiest way to solve an equation like this is to divide the entire equation by 3. And when I do this, um, I got 3 times this entire equation, basically the left and right-hand side. So 3 times 3, the 3's cross cancel here. But I also got to multiply this side over here by 3. So I'm going to end up with x plus 2x plus x minus 1 is equal to 15. Okay. So now, oops, let me go ahead and erase this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, solve for x. So I have x plus 2x plus x. That is what? That gives me 4x minus 1 equals 15. So I add 1 to both sides of the equation. I get 4x is equal to 16. And we'll keep this right here. 4x is equal to 16. Divide both sides of the equation by 4. And I get x is equal to 4. Okay. So x is equal to 4. Now let's go back up here. Okay. I, I told you that these were the numbers. So x is equal to 4. So our actual values here, I'm going to erase this, is going to be what? Well, x is equal to 4, so this is going to be 4, okay? And this is 2x right here, so that's going to be 2 times, of course, again, x is 4, so that's 2 times 4. This is 8, and this is going to be 4 minus 1, or x minus 1, which is going to be 4 minus 1, so that is 3, okay? So now let's just check that. Let's see if the, these are our actual three numbers. So 4, 8, and 3. 4, 8, and 3 is the average of those three numbers, 5. Let's see here. 4 plus 8 plus 3 divided by 1, 2, 3 numbers, right, is what? So this is going to be 12 
plus 3, that's 15 divided by 3, and take a look at that. The average there is, in fact, 5, just like what the problem stated. So um, these problems you, um, you will encounter. Okay, So once you've learned how to find the average or the mean, you'll see things like this. All right, let's just uh, quickly uh, talk about something here. And let's just look at a quick uh, uh, conceptual problem. Let's say I told you the average uh, home uh, price in XYZ area is $250,000, okay? So what can we conclude from this? All right, average, okay, So the, or the mean, okay? The mean home price is $250,000. Well, oftentimes... Um, when uh, you're looking at, like, say, real estate type of uh, uh, descriptions, we don't use the mean, okay? We don't use the mean. They often use the median. So if you look at it, you're thinking, oh, average. Don't think that the average is right in the middle, okay? Don't be like, oh, I mean, I know that it feels that way, right? Well, the average is 250000 Maybe, like, you know, a lot of the houses are... Um, you know, more expensive and a lot or less than, or maybe most of them are around 250000 okay? We can't tell enough, right, when you're just given one piece of information. So in statistics, we need more pieces of information. So we would like to know the median, okay? So we have the average or the mean here, right? Okay, that doesn't tell me enough. I would like to know the me, uh, the median home price, Okay. I'd also like to know the standard deviation and some other like really kind of cool stuff. And that would give me more of a description. I might want to know the range and some other things that would give me more color to what's going on. So let's think about it, right? What's the scenario in XYZ uh, location if the average is 250,000? Mm, well, maybe all the houses in XYZ there's a law there that they all have to sell for 250,000. Well, guess what? That, the, you know, you add all these up, that's a million divided by four, that's 250,000. Hmm, is that the scenario? Maybe if I go to XYZ, all homes are $250,000. Hmm, maybe not, okay? Uh, you can have homes that are like, you know, 30,000, 30,000, 30,000, 50,000, and you got this guy way over here yonder going for like 650000 okay? He's called an outlier, for example. I don't know if this adds up to 250000 but what I'm saying is the data can be skewed in all kinds of ways that you can't, uh, just by having the average, you won't know, okay? So you can't make too many um, assumptions about the overall characteristics when you just have one statistical piece of information, especially like the average. Whereas the median, okay, that's a different deal. Now, you'll watch that video that I did on the, uh, the median. And I'll just kind of do that real quick or explain this to you real quick. If I'm saying the median, the median home price is 250000 now I can kind of conclude some stuff. What I'm saying here now is that half the houses are more expensive than 250000 and half are less than expensive than 250000 So that's why... Oftentimes, when you read, you know, uh, the news about, you know, let's say, like something like real estate, if you come across this, you'll see this word very specifically used: the median, median home prices, yada yada yada. They don't really use uh, average is used, but not, not as much as the median. But it would be nice to know the average, and because the average does tell us something as well. So we want to know all this collectively. Again, that's why you don't want to study this in a vacuum. You want to know all these concepts together because, you know, we're talking about the measure of central tendency. And these are the basic ones here, but there's more, okay? Standard deviation, range, and you know, there's there's even more beyond that, okay? So, all right. So, uh, I like to end these videos with just a reminder that these are quick tutorial videos and hopefully they um, help you because that's the whole point of me doing this video for you. But you got to practice this stuff, okay? Practice is what's going to get you to retain this and really learn it. So hopefully, you know, as soon as you, you know, watch something, understand it, you're, you're applying it right away. Um, but a couple uh, quick reminders. Um, first of all, 
hopefully you're going to become a subscriber. Maybe you already are. And if you are, thank you very much. And if you'd like this video, please consider smashing that like button as well. But um, again, if you're struggling in math, you got to do something about it. Okay. And hopefully I can uh, uh, help help you along that journey. I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel organized in various playlists that can help you out. And I'm going to be doing new content all the time. Okay. Kind of spread it around from algebra to basic math to more advanced mathematics. Okay. Uh, I just love teaching math. All right. So if you like my teaching instruction, there'll be more to come. Uh, and with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.